Welcome back to DVC Weekly. This is episode 52. My name is Jason Rippleding. I'm the broker of Buy and Sell DVC. I'm here with Scott Ferrioli. I'm the owner of DVC-Rental.com and Buy and Sell DVC.com. Today is uh, February 2nd, Groundhog Day. Yep. So your 11 month booking window is gonna be uh, January 2nd, 2022 already. And then your seven month window is gonna be September 2nd, uh, 2022. As always, you can find uh, buy and sell at buy and sell dvc.com and dvc rental at dvc rental.com. Remember the dash to save the cash. So, hopefully, uh, the groundhog is in your favor. If you're looking for uh, more winter, uh, that's up to you. If there are people who are looking for more winter, I, I mean, I, I don't know. There's somebody out there probably, <laughs> maybe it's not us. Oh, uh, I mean, on a side, let me ask you this Are you a fan of the movie Groundhog Day? Decent, and I, I've seen it. Once or twice. It's, oh. it's probably been 15 years or so since okay. I've seen the movie. I've seen it many, many, many times. I love that movie. And uh, my wife is not a fan of that movie at all. So anyway. Um, so and also, you, just so you know, everyone, we have, uh, what is it, 11 days to prepare for the Super Bowl. So, uh, so you can get your menus ready if you're cheering for the Bengals or you're cheering for the Rams. Uh, you have time to prepare now. You have a, I know you don't have really a, any, any dog in the fight, but who, who are you pulling for? Uh, I would have to say I'm pulling for the Bengals because of, uh, you know, my man Boomer Esiason. So, uh, you know, he, he's going to be getting uh, all sorts of uh, press over the next uh, 11 days. But yeah. I would have to say the Bengals. All right. I, I'm, I'm probably pulling for the Bengals just a, a little bit. I'd like to see Matt Stafford get one for the Rams. You know, he's been playing. He's been a great quarterback for a long time. He finally got off a terrible team. <laughs> so it'd be nice to possibly see him get a ring. But, you know, I, I guess I'm pulling for the Bengals. I would have preferred the 49ers. Oh, to yeah. Run, but... To see the trilogy. Yeah. You know, Bengals 49ers for the third time yeah. in the Super Bowl. That have been <laughs> perfect. Okay. So today, I don't even know where this idea came from, but we are going to have a DVC draft. You know, like uh, like an NFL draft, you know, you have the first pick. So uh, we're going to pick our resorts, the resorts that this would be under the category of which resort you would want to own. Okay. 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 See, I don't even know the rules. So this so, is just own. It's not like say, so, yeah, I'm just to so own. Own. Okay. You want to own like, like you're, someone says, here's <laughs> all the resorts and you get your chance of ownership, which resort do you want to own? So it's not just, again, which one you think is the favorite. You have to think about possibly maintenance fees when they expire and stuff right, right. like that. Or, or, so I mean, little, again, there's going to be for the fa- for first, the fans. personal for the fan. choice as well, how you want to use it. You know, this is, we'll, we'll say under these rules, you can't uh, ever resell it. Okay. Okay. So, you, right. so this is something you have to own and use. Uh, However, I mean, you can run out the points or whatever. Okay. Okay. So we have the yeah. rules down. So I guess we'll have to do uh, rock, paper, scissors to see who gets to pick first. Okay. Okay. You're ready? Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah. Like all right. Scott. I'm going first. Okay. Let's see. So I'm just going to. Oh, see, this, is, this, is, this is so tricky already because I'm going. I, see, I, I didn't know about these rules beforehand. It's all, it's all part of the fun. And I think we're just going to go, you know, you pick first, I pick second, and, yeah, and, but, and then back and forth. Like, yeah. I don't get the. Third, pick, second, and third pick. No, no trading picks or okay. anything either. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, with the GM on the phone right now, trying. Which to... one do I do? Which okay. With my first pick, I am going with Animal Kingdom. I was debating between Boardwalk because I love Boardwalk, but um, I, I figure with the longer expiration, it, it's just it, it's that'd be my first choice. I, I love Animal Kingdom, so I'm going Animal Kingdom. Well, I don't want to overthink this here, you know, because. I think I want to pick what I want to pick first, but then I'm like, well, would, maybe I can pick it later in a later <laughs> round. We probably should have planned this a little bit better, I guess. Huh? Instead but of I, I will say this, I am going with Bay Lake Tower Ooh, okay. because I want to be right across the street uh, from the Magic Kingdom. Just walk right over there. Okay. So I'm going with uh, Bay Lake Tower. Good choice. And I just stayed at Bay Lake Tower about a week ago. Love Bay Lake Tower. Really, really great. I'm going to actually talk about it, um, I think, in an upcoming episode. Just love Bay Lake Tower. Great cho- great choice. All right. Since it's available, I'm going with my Boardwalk. So I absolutely love Boardwalk. And, I mean, e- even though it's got an earlier expiration time, I, I want to be able to stay at Boardwalk and use it to get the uh, standard views at Boardwalk because I'm thrifty. I'm, I'm going to have to go with the Polynesian. 
Mm. Even though I really only had the studios and the bungalows as an option, I love those studios. I love the pool out there. I love, you know, looking at the lagoon and and seeing the bungalows, even though I probably not going to use the bungalows, but I'm going with the Polynesian. No, that, that, that's a good choice. Very good choice. Mm, all right. I am going to go with, oh gosh, I'm going with Riviera. Riviera. A little, a little, little surprising. I, I like Riviera. Um, I love the atmosphere there. My kids love playing bocce outside at Riviera. It's got a little bit later of an expiration. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's a good choice. And because I'm not reselling this, you know, I can use this for any resort at seven months if I want, but I'm going with Riviera. Now that, that was a tricky pick. I am going with, I, I'm going with Copper Creek. Ooh. I like it out there. I like the pool out there. I like the atmosphere. Okay. Good choice. I'm going with Vero Beach as it's not great maintenance fees wise and expires. I do love the Vero Beach atmosphere. I know he loves Vero Beach too. So I'm also making this pick before he can come in and snag it in a later round. So there's a, there's a little trickeration on this one. Okay, this is um. Sorry, folks. We should have been more prepared. Fine, I'll trade you for the now. pick, and I'll go again. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know why I'm covering on my sheet. Um, <laughs> He's hiding it from me. <laughs> I gotta go with Beach Club. Ooh, okay. The pool, the ice cream. I got to go with Beach Club. No, well, good choice. Um, I am going to go with Grand Floridian. Oh, that's a good choice. Yeah, beautiful resort, Disney's flagship resort. You know, ac great access with it being on the monorail or boat over to Magic Kingdom. I mean, I've got Riviera and Grand Floridian. That's two of their most ritzy options. So we're down to, a, just to make sure we're clear here, we're down to Alani. Mm hmm And Grand Cal. Yeah. Ooh, Hilton Head. Ooh, yep. Yep. Old Key West, Old Saratoga. Yeah. I'm going Old Key West. I love West. the two bedroom villas there. You know, it's a nice place. Watch the golfers. Miss the green. Get frustrated. Going Old Key West. Okay. I am definitely, because I forgot about this, and I really would have picked this last round, but luckily it slipped through. Grand Californian. Grand Californian. You know, the only only option as of right now at Disneyland, great resort, absolutely beautiful resort, you know, walk right into uh, California Adventure Park. Great, great choice. It's hard to get into, almost impossible to get into if you don't own there. I know where I'm going next. So I have to see if he steals it. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Alani. Okay, I had, I had a feeling you might go there. I'm going fun. Alani. I need to get there, especially for New Year's sometime. So I'm going to Alani. All right. I, I was hoping that this would still be there, considering you went with Copper Creek earlier. Oh, no, you're going Boulder Ridge? I'm going Boulder Ridge. Oh. The, the other Wilderness Lodge resorts. That way I still have access to Wilderness Lodge, you know, with all of its theming, uh, great for Christmas time. Boat to Magic Kingdom, just a Pacific Northwest theme. It's a beautiful resort. And he's already got Copper Creek, which expires much later. So that's a great choice. But I, I got it on later round, so I think I get a little bang, bear bang for the buck. So what am I, my only choice so, is either... I, we, we always love Hilton Head, Old Key West, Saratoga. Well, I have Old Key West. Oh, so, oh, oh so I'm sorry. It's Hilton Head or Saratoga. Yeah, Hilton Head or Saratoga. Hmm. So I There's have one Old more. Key West, Hilton Head, or Saratoga. I'm going Hilton Head. All right. Get to Hilton so, Head in the summertime. You know, I mean... that. Saratoga is good, but, you know, I have the old Key West. So, uh, you know, I have to get my, um, I have to give my options here, you know, because now I got, I can be close to the Magic Kingdom at some point. I can go to old Key West in two bedrooms, stay with a bunch of family. I can go to Alani over New Year's. I got Hilton Head in the summer. I got it all. I got my, no, I mean, it's, it's, it's a good draft. And of course, with the last pick, I now have Saratoga Springs, which very similar to old Key West, um, largest resort. It's a nice resort, but again, not a real surprise that that's the last pick of the draft as it's the 
largest resort. It's not with its special niche where it's like, you know, on a monorail or walking distance or anything. But fantastic resort anyway, and I'm, I'm happy to get that as my last pick. And truthfully, this is where I own most of my points anyway, so. Because if you were drafting it based on how you were going to use it, you know, Saratoga might go in the first two rounds. Oh, yeah. Or if, if, you if, if you're really sitting there going, oh, I, I have to think about, you know, buy-in price and this and that. Right. I'm going, you know, Saratoga would be up higher because that's where I bought most of mine for one of the best banks of the buck on property. So. Expiration date dues and everything. Yep, yeah, yep. the draft would be totally different. But uh, yep. that was a good draft. I, uh. Hope you're playing at home. Hope, yeah, hope hopefully we're well. playing along at home. We'd love to know what your first few picks are, or if, we, if you think we made any uh, obvious mistakes, you know, uh, please let us know. Uh, one thing I do want to mention, I didn't mention at the start of the show, is if you're vacationing in Orlando between the months of November and March, mm -hmm. uh, what are the three words that you don't want to hear? I would say it's record low temperatures. I was going to say cold storm cold, Record cold, cold low temperatures. Temperature. Yep. Because right now, this is the coldest this has been. For me, that I remember since like 2010, but apparently it was cold uh, in 2018. Yeah, this past but, week this past week has been pretty brutal. Yes. So it's, well, this up, is, it's warming up a little bit now, but the, the past week's been pretty rough. <laughs> you've <laughs> you've been in Florida how many years now? It'll be six years in July. Okay. So... I mean, not to get off subject here, but when a hurricane comes, Floridians pretty much just kind of just you deal with it. They you deal know, with it. They relax. Some people have hurricane parties. Some people go to Cocoa Beach because it's the best time to go surfing. Like everything goes on as normal. But if the temperature gets below 35 degrees, Floridians have no idea what to do. <laughs> they just, they're, they're, they just, it's, and again, I'm from Iowa originally, but I've been here since December of 97. But, uh, it is hard to function when uh, the temperature gets this low. Yes, it absolutely is. Okay, so now we're on to the food review. Come here, I'm gonna eat you! Get in my belly! So now we're doing our first ever really live on camera food review. I know we, we once we had sat on uh, Dizzy Springs before, but as you can probably see, we are doing Gideon's because last night I had. Um, Dinner with a bunch of the guys from the WW Review, the Malik family, uh, the, the Murrays, the Callahans. I, I know you've, you've met a bunch of them, uh, Barrager, but so I've just had a really great time with everybody. And uh, you remember Chris Malik. Mm -hmm. And uh, before we went down to, way before we went to dinner, he went to Gideon's. And last night, again, was cold. It was relatively busy there, surprisingly, but it wasn't, it wasn't terrible. He went there, and it, remember, this is, this is, early February, it was a five hour wait for Gideon's. So he put it in well in advance. So while we were at dinner, we had dinner at Planet Hollywood, uh, we, we got the call back to say that, you know, your, your time is ready. So all of us went there after dinner last night, went to Gideon's and we're gonna do a tasting right now. This is this is the brand new, this is the, the it was the, uh, what's called the, Jan, it was actually the January um, cookie of the of the month. So it, it's it's gone, but, we have one here, some fun stuff. Gaines always has cool things. We can do the unboxing. These are the boxes you get. I mean, these boxes are just really cool. I mean, just why? Well, why was there a five-hour wait? wait? I don't because there were that many people who signed in to to go get these cookies. And this is how every cookie arrives. Oh my goodness! All individually wrapped. I've done. You know, you've all done reviews before. I mean, it is a big cookie. And what's the name of this cookie? This is the chocolate chip banana bread cookie. Oh my. I asked you earlier, I said, I hope you're not allergic to anything. But I mean, just look, look at how much stuff is on yes. this cookie. Again, I mean, these things are loaded. They're about a half pound each. Just cut off a little piece here for both of us. You know what? There we go, look at this. The live taste test. I'm glad that the buy and sell section was before this taste test. There's a bigger piece in this little guy. There we go, let's see. Right. I'm getting cookie everywhere. <laughs> mm. I forgot it has walnuts. You're not allergic to walnuts, right? Mm. Good. Jason's alive with us. There's peanut butter in there too? Or I don't think so. No? Chocolate chips, walnut, some banana bread and <laughs> that's a pretty good cookie. Oh, oh, oh. You're going for more. You're going for more? Go ahead. 
Yeah. And there's also there's also sea salt on top, so it's got saltiness to it. You get the banana taste. I like this cookie. Now, we also got the peanut butter one for my son last night, and we got another one of those pistachio, chocolate chip pistachio ones with the sea salt, which I really like as well. And that's the one that got the highest grade so far. This, this is right up there with it. In my, in my opinion, and for those, I'm going to be able to see it. It's, I don't say it's like cookie dough, but I mean, they're thick and they're a little bit doughy. So it's a little different consistency of a regular cookie. It's, it's softer and chewier and pretty delicious. But sponsored by Gideon's. I wish. In case you're watching Gideon's, we do sponsorships. So, well, so is this on the menu or no? This is on the menu. It, 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 it should be gone. I don't think they're going to be doing it again. It should, should be gone. I don't know what the brand new um, cookie of the month is going to be. But I think it's, it says it's somewhere on here. Yeah, it's, it doesn't. There's the regular ones. Regular ones are the original chocolate chip, pistachio, toffee. That's delicious. Tro the cookies and cream, peanut butter crunch, and the triple chocolate. So it is on here. I mean, I don't have anything to compare it to, but... If oh, I had yeah. the, oh, here we oh, go. That's, that's, the, no, that's, that's, the, that's the coffee. Anyway, it's on here. I know we saw it last night. I'm not going to go. Oh, it's in the top paragraph on top? Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's this little top little paragraph on top. I don't want to worry about I'm this. I'm going to read it well. Um, I would give this cookie 9.1. This cookie's really, really 9. good. 9.1? Wow. I, I don't know if that's a little too high. I don't know. I was going with 8.9 or 9.1. I don't know. It, it's, well, it's considering there's a peanut butter crunch and a triple chocolate, that's. Well, I've, had, I've done the peanut butter crunch before. I'm not. I didn't want to do the triple chocolate. It's just chocolate chips and chocolate cookies. Just too much. I like the different varying tastes. I mean, this. This. this I, I think feel it's like I already solid. failed on this because I thought there was a hint of peanut butter in there, but there's not. I, 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 didn't, I didn't taste any peanut butter, but I mean, I I, I give it nine point one. It, it's right up there with the pistachio cookie. This this thing is really in my again my opinion. Jason might not like it as much. No, I, I think like this is it. Really, really good. And I would say that I would give it a seven point six. Whoa. Okay. Wait. Wait. That's too low. Oh, okay. Well, I came in at a nine one and a seven six. I'm like, okay. Well, wow. seven six because I just because I don't want to. I mean, again, it's not everybody's a banana fan too. You might be like, I'd rather have you know peanut butter and with the chocolate. Well, I mean that. I mean, I mean, I like it. I'm still you seem to be doing a lot of eating for somebody who gave it a 7.6. I think 7.6 is a pretty high score. Well, the cookie's a little offended, I think. No way. But no, this is this is a really good cookie. Again, I'm making a mess. Everyone wants to keep hearing us munch in the cam in the mics, by the way. Okay, now for this particular bite, I do taste more of the banana. Mm. Yeah, I'm keeping my grade. This is a great cookie. Seven six. Mm. Yeah. Chocolate chips, walnut. Natch, you've all watched us eat on camera. This is like one of those mukbang videos where the people watch people eat stuff. So I apologize to our fan. But really, really good. You gotta try this out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I definitely recommend. I, 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 I still have some cookies over there, so off camera, I'll let you try some of the other ones too. <laughs> so all right, we're going to move along because I think people are... So now we're going to the DVC rental side. So on the DVC rental side, um, we have a new addition to our uh, check availability tool, which I, I mentioned before the check availability tool, just brief explanation. You go in there and you put in what dates that you're looking for, and our system will check against the DVC site. It, it, it's not exactly real time. You know, it, it checks, we'll say, every hour or so. So it checks. So it, it's pretty close availability to what Disney has available at that time. Gives you pricing, gives you pictures of the resort, room layouts, all the information, dining. There's a lot of great stuff on there. And I'll also add on there as a little bonus that when you check availability, it shows you all the rooms that are available. On the left-hand side of the screen, there's another little option where you can click sold out. And if you click sold out, it pulls in all the resorts, even the sold out ones, and there's a little button that says see availability. If you click on that, it'll show you like a month by month view of that resort in that room. So you can sit there and see exactly for the next 11 months when the room is available. I haven't mentioned that too much before, so I just wanted to throw that in there. But the new change that we did is that we also have our deals page. I've mentioned the deals page before. Now when you do a search, it'll show you all the availability that Disney has for your room. And it also cross-references our deals page so that if there's a, um, a check-in that's within like around a week or so of when you're looking to go, on the bottom of the screen, it'll also check against the deal section for you. So it'll pull in all the availability from Disney 
and automatically check our deal section to see if there's anything else that works for you as well. So we're really excited. We just we just rolled that out a few days ago. So really, really cool uh, upgrade to the system. But again... And the deal space is basically the confirmed reservations. Yeah, the, sorry, the, deal, the deal space is all confirmed reservations. It's also sometimes if we have discounted confirmed reservations as well. So I mean, you know, it's always good to go to the deal space and check it out. But now our check availability page will go in there and it pulls in all of all of this, all the confirmed reservations we have. I mean, we're the, we're the only site that has any of this technology. So our, our IT guy is is Ty. He's in the other room. We wanted to bring him on on the camera to have some cookies, but he didn't make us look bad, you know, from from looking too good. So he's done a great job. He's got some great IT stuff out there. So really, really happy. But. It, Man, save some of the cookie for other people. We're still going to let Ty try some. <laughs> but that, 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 that's it for the, uh, our stuff. Again, it's the check availability. Now pulling in the deals page, pulling in the C availability when you choose sold out. You can check for months for what's available. And that is it for the rental Cause, side. Because the thing about the check availability is on the, the, the confirmed reservations, like if you're checking availability and you wait a couple days, of course, that reservation may be gone. Oh, yeah. But a confirmed reservation, as long as someone hasn't already snagged it up, it's, it's, it's available for you to purchase, and it's, yep. it's already secured. A member's already made that reservation. They're renting it out. Yep. So uh, let's wrap it up so we get some of this cookie. Yes, yes. So uh, <laughs> hopefully the cold weather will be leaving Florida soon. Well, I, I do have a – I mean, if you – I'm assuming, again, that when you come here, you're not wanting cold weather, but maybe you do. I don't know. Um but please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Please uh, subscribe. We're looking to get to a thousand subscribers so I can go back to wearing the golf shirt. Uh, be sure to check in with us every Wednesday. And remember, uh, buy and sell ddc.com and dvc-rental.com. Remember the dash to save the cash. Thanks for tuning in. and We'll see you next week. Love you. Thank you very much.